Hey, what's up? My name is Leo. I'm a developer at the Helpful Hero team here to help you master the awesome platform HubSpot. In today's video, I want to show you how we could build a custom um, filter card module. So if you look at the screen, you can see I've had some, uh, yeah, some testing pages just to, to see how the module works. And then if I go over to the actual page, we could see here that we got some uh, uh, quote cards that I created. And you can see here a filter here. So if, for example, if you press short, it filters by card with the tag short. Um, and in the CMS here, we could create more filter tags for the filter. And we could also create more quotes. So we could try add another quote here. For example, um, a day is a day. Perfect. And that's a short one. You can see, yeah, this is uh, my own quote. And um, I just uh, came right on the spot, so it's not super great. Um, but you can see here, we could quickly just add a new quote and add a tag. And this tag is just associated with the filter. So if you now go over here and refresh, you can see we got another card. And if you filter by short, this is still here. So today I will show you how we could use um, a JavaScript library in this uh, named Isotope in our custom module to create this cool filtering functional functionality. So let's get started. Hold on, just one quick thing before we start. If you like watching these tutorials, be sure to follow our channel so you can see when we release new content. And also, if you have not watched our previous tutorials on how to build a custom module, be sure to watch that. And um, this there will be a link in the description so you can easily watch that. And that just uh, shows you on how to build a custom module. So this video will be easier to yeah get along in because this video will focus more on the JavaScript part of the module and how yeah and get it more in the bitty gritty kind of more detailed, the nerdy stuff um, on, on the module side. But yeah, that was about it. Let's uh, yeah, keep going on the tutorial. So to build this module, we first need to create our custom module. As previous tutorials, I've already created a very custom boilerplate um, yeah, HTML and CSS for this module. So we don't have to go over yeah, some very um, insignificant parts currently. I will only go over the most important stuff so it's easy to get along. So firstly, just let's just look on these fields um, here on the side and how we could actually create these, uh, yeah, this module here. So let's just first create these filter tags and these will basically just be the tags that drop down on the, on the drop down here. So first you select here some text and then we could just say, for example, just tag. Tag, great. Then we could just press actions, group and then just group this. And this group is, is just called um, filter, filter tags. Um, this could have been uh, used without the grouping, but I just uh, think it looks better to have this kind of, you see, kind of title over these tags. But if you don't want that, if you, almost, if you do just want these kind of um, tags to be directly in the CMS, you can have, yeah, just have a repeater field directly on this text. But I will have this repeater option set for this group here. And the repeater um, option just make sure that we can create multiple of this group. So we can have multiple tags for the filter. Perfect. Now that's done. Now, now, so this part basically just resonates to uh, this part here. So now let's just create this quote group. So firstly, we need to create the content. So we have um, inside of each group or um, quote item, we have a quote text and a tag. So both of those are text. So we could create, for example, here, um, quote text, perfect. And we don't have to have a default value for this tutorial. Then we could create another um, text. So this text will be for the tag text for the specific card or the specific quote card. So uh, yeah, tag good enough. And yeah, perfect. So let's not confuse this tag and this tag. This tag will be the tags that show up um, in the filter dropdown. And this tag will be the tag associated with a specific quote card, if that makes sense. So let's just group these ones as well. Perfect. So now we have created this, um, uh, wait, where is it? Here, the quote group. So let's just rename this to quote. Quote, perfect. Oh, sorry, my bad. Perfect. 
And yeah, let's just set the repeater option here so we can create multiple um, quote cards. So perfect. Now we actually created all of the fields for the CMS kind of uh, settings. So we can see here where the filter tags and quote tags. So let's see how we can actually use these in the code. So when creating a filter, we first need to create the actual filter dropdown. And that we can do with this, you can see here, this select M. Um, I could actually copy this out so it's easier to see. We only need this kind of uh, HTML select tag. And in here we can have all the options. So one option that's always going to be used is this uh, um, kind of show all. So this all tag. So that we will have no matter what tag we'll set. So options, then we can just set value. And you see on the value here, you just set for the all tag, this um, kind of the, the little star. And that just basically, you, can, you will see that this resonates with all cards later when we go over how we could use the isotope library. So let's just add that. And now for the other options, we will loop through every tag we added in the filter tags here and just create an option for that. So here we can just press actions, copy snippet, and then just paste that in there. Perfect. You can see that we got the for loop that loops over all um, tags. And now we can just basically do this. We could copy this option uh, tag, paste it in here. And then for value, we, we could just set um, uh, this other tag and just set item. And the item is basically this filter group and then just dot tag to access and the tag for that group or for that item. Perfect. And then we can just set the, the item tag here as well to get the actual M text to show up in some, between the two option tags. So now, and also, we also need to add a dot in front of here um, uh, just uh, because that's is how isotope work. So this just creates all of the, this just creates all of the options in our dropdown. So let's move forward now to how to create the cards. We don't have to go over the CSS, by the way, down here. But here, I just created some filter grid, and that's very important when using Isotope to create some grid for um, all of your cards, because we will need to access or reference this grid when using it down in JavaScript later. So here, we could just say for item in module.quote. So that is basically this group. And if you want to access this for loop, you could just say press action, code snippet, or copy snippet, and just paste that in there. So yeah, this is basically how I got that loop. Then afterward, uh, after looping each quote, I create this card here. And you can see I used Bootstrap, and that's a CSS library for creating kind of the width. So it's all structured and look nice. Um, and then we need to add this filter item. You don't have to use exactly this class, but use some class that you could use to reference when using grid the isotope that just tells, yeah, these are the cards that we want to filter through. And here I just have the quote text. We don't have to go through that. But that's basically it. This is how to create the options and the select tag and kind of the HTML for the grid isotope. Let's, let's now look on how the grid isotope library actually work and how we can implement it in our module. Now we actually reach the more um, funny stuff because now we reach the JavaScript part of this module. So if you go over to isotope.metaphysy.co we can then go over just up here to isotope. And in here, you can see how to actually create the grid. So first, um, this part, it doesn't mention it here, but this at grid actually has to be um, a JavaScript variable containing the actual grid. So if you go in here, uh, we could create these uh, require JS tags. And of course, on end, require um, JS tag. Perfect. There we go. And in here, just add uh, a script tag. Perfect. So this is all that it takes to create um, to write JS in our in our module. So we could first just grab, uh, say, um, grab the grid HTML verb uh, element. So we could use the um, jQuery to do that. And in here, just say whatever um, class we have for this filter grid. So we could just copy this grid. And this need, and the, uh, the class given here must be the parent of the cards. So you could see here are the cards because this is the div closest to the for loop. And right above that is the parent, parent to the cards and it's the filter grid. So we could just copy this 
and just paste it in there. And yes, of course, uh, no, we don't. Yeah, we need a dot here. Perfect. So there, there is actually the grid for um, the grid variable. So now we could just go into isotope again and copy this part. So this is just some default setup code for initializing isotope. So we could just copy this in here. Grid as isotope, perfect, great. And just remove these three dots here because we don't need any other options besides this. And here, dot element dot item, item selector. This is the class name of the card we want to use in our in our uh, um, uh, filter grid. So I want to use these cards here, filter item. So that's why we added that class before. So we could just say dot filter item. Perfect. Now we actually added both um, the grid, we selected it here and created the actual isotope grid. So now to filter, we need to do this. We need to catch events when a person kind of, you know, changes um, change the option for the select. So we need to firstly do that. So you say here, um, yeah, you use, use uh, jQuery again, you said dot, and then just the class name for the select. So select filter. Perfect. And now we could just say dot on, and this is just an event catcher to catch when a certain event happens with this HTML element. So then we can just say on a uh, change, and then just whenever someone changes the va value of this, we can just say dot or a comma, I mean, function. And here we just parse some um, function uh, in where we could actually create the, or write the code for what should happen when someone changes value. So when sh someone changes value, we first want to or we not have to go over, but we want to filter our um, isotope grid for items with the selected option. So now I select, for example, short here. I want to only show items or these kind of cards who have um, the same tag here as the filter kind of have selected for the moment, if that makes sense. So we could go over here to isotope and see how we could actually use filtering. So let's press filtering, go down here. You can see we have a lot of cards here, for example, with uh, different classes like metal and um, non-metal, non earth metal and stuff like that. So you can see here how they're filtering. They use the grid dot isotope and then just filter and then the value. So we need to grab the value which is selected. So to do that, we could just get uh, the current selected item. So say, for example, filter value equals to the current selected value, which is this, and this just refers to um, the object which the event occurred on, and just say dot m value or val. I mean, sorry, value is for normal JavaScript, but in jQuery, use val. Perfect. Now we could actually just copy this, this filter in here. Perfect. Copy that in here, and then you select metal for the current uh, selected value for our. Um, uh, you know, your or select option. So we could just say filter value. Perfect. Let's just go in, in the testing page and see if this works. So we could go in here in testing page and delete this old module. Apply changes. Perfect. And now we could just go into add and search for where is this new module called? Oh, we don't have a label. Filter module. Perfect. Publish changes. Go back in here and refresh. So let's see if our module actually works. So we can just go in here and say filter, uh, filter module, perfect. And just drag that in here. So currently we don't have any, oh, I need to add the uh, all tag as well. So um, for this, we could just add all there. So we have that text there as well. Now we can just refresh, uh, refresh here, I mean. Perfect, we got all here. If we go in here, we can create some filter tags. So for example, short and long as we did before. Long, perfect. Apply changes. Now we could press on this. Perfect, we got those filter. Now we could go out here and add some cards with some random quotes. And I can come up with on the spot. So 
first quote could be, yeah, I'm just writing some random nonsense here, but we could just say this is a long quote. It isn't, but we could just say this. Apply changes, and then we could just see if that card is added. Perfect. Now we got the that, and we can see short. Okay, it still shows long. It doesn't do anything when I press long. I just need to debug this very quickly. So yeah, hold on a second. Okay, there, I just debugged it. So a super important thing I forgot to mention is we can't actually use the iStope library without pulling it in because my code doesn't actually have the access to these uh, functions. Yes, we actually have to either download it or use a CDN. Like you could see on the um, iStope page here, we have the CDN. We can just copy the script tag here and just paste that in in our um, inside of our require JS here. Just paste that in there. Perfect, now it should work. So if you publish changes, go in here and refresh. If we now press on short, perfect, long, perfect. You can see that it um, height for short and is visible on long. And that's just because this has a long um, class name because we added that in the tags. So we could try now to add another quote here uh, and then we could just do short, perfect. And just apply changes. So if we now press short, Nice, you can see that we actually get this filtering functionality now. So we've pressed long, uh, all, everyone shorts, uh, shows, and uh, yeah. This totally works and you can add how many uh, quotes you want. And you don't even have to add quote, you can add images, you can, um, you could create, add how much content in this quote a uh, group here as you want to, and just create your own cards in here, the HTML code for that card. I've chosen to use, to use, use these uh, simple quote cards for this tutorial, but you can create how advanced features you want. But that is basically how to create this filtering method. And um, we just use this uh, kind of select an option uh, feature here, and then just uh, loop through every tag here. But also in our on clean, we have this module where instead of having the tags here, we just use some JavaScript to grab all the possible tags from the cards directly, but that's a bit more advanced, so I won't go over that in this tutorial. And it's also important to note that we um, looped over every card and used this kind of filter grid uh, uh, div to store all the cards. And then in the grid, the only thing we needed to do to create this grid functionality was um, used to create the grid here, and that was just the uh, grid, uh, the filter grid. And here we just said, uh, yeah, this was just copied from the isotope website and then just use some on change when the filter input changes just use some yeah just grab the value and then filter that with isotope and if you want to you will i will um, link this isotope library in the comments so if you want to use this for your own custom modules on your um, hubspot theme you're welcome to do that but that was it that's actually how easy how easy it is to create a powerful module like this hope you have a great day and see you later